you're about to meet was living on food stamps when they posted their first video on YouTube. Now, they're millionaires. They see every part of their day as potential viral gold. And they're happy to give you the insider's look at how to strike it rich online. Here's ABC's Abby Boudreau for our Nightline series, Social Stars. It's a big night for the Butler family. Are we ready for the streamies? On their way to the Streamy Awards in Los Angeles, the Oscars for online video. Hi, Jennifer. In the world of YouTube fame, this family is a big deal. YouTube royalty. Their channel, The Shaytards, has more than 3.5 million subscribers. Their videos, almost 2 billion views. First day of school pictures. What started as a gimmick, a father filming his family's daily life, has turned the family into a mega brand. The Butlers are millionaires, just from pressing record. The ultimate answer to why do people watch your videos is because inside, I think people want a happy family. Like that is a longing for a lot of people. And I think that's why people watch, to get hope that they can have that. Now they have endorsement deals with household names, like Band-Aid. And Target. We made a quick Target run and they had everything we needed for our project. Their promotional power reaching celebrities like Matt Damon. This is my maiden vlogging moment. This is this is the voyage. They've even started their own clothing line. Shay Carl is one of the founders of Maker Studios, an online media company which was bought for approximately $500 million by ABC's parent company, Disney. The on-camera action ranges from the extremely mundane to the extremely personal. Hey, buddy. As we realized that we could actually make a living doing this, like it changed everything for us. We know what it's like to not be able to pay your bills. Eight years ago, Shea Carl Butler and his family were living on food stamps. There's me dancing. But when he posted a video of himself prancing around in his wife's unitard. And he's giving us a yeah. lovely dance routine. Yeah. Everything changed. If you look, you can see August 16th, 2007. I mean, I did have a lot of jobs. You know, I did, uh, you know, the gamut. So when we first started YouTube and I got this small audience and all of a sudden our first check from Google AdSense was for 300 bucks, I was like, that's groceries. That's a big thing of groceries, you know? And I'm like, if I can make 300 bucks, what if I can make a thousand bucks a month? My goal was to make $1,000 a month on YouTube to be able to pay for groceries in our house. <laughs> yeah, I'm tough, I'm a tough guy. And uh, we did, and now we're millionaires, so you can do it too. Now, there are thousands of channels devoted to parents documenting their daily lives, from babies at the water park, yes! <laughs> and even doctor's appointments. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, miss you. <laughs> Family vlogging is a huge new trend. We see a lot more people getting in on this. And it's not just something they do in their spare time, it's actually becoming a career. So we're gonna show you our daily commute to our job. Shay Carl and Colette raised their family here in the fields of Pocatello, Idaho, where Shay grew up. Hi, we're sneaking hey, in. Hey, crew. They invited us in for an exclusive tour. We are here in the studio. Uh, yeah, we have a podcast that we do right here. We do a live show. So one of the things I love about YouTube, too, is like we're just doing this like in our garage, kind of. <laughs> Welcome to the WKTG team. No, I you know, said it wrong. It's on the board. It's a really long acronym, guys. <laughs> when the kids go to sleep. But we usually shoot it while they're in school. Welcome to WTKGTS. Right here in the mountains of Idaho, this is episode 139 of When the Kids Go to Sleep. <laughs> I did her makeup this morning right before this yeah. interview. Let me see. Did I blend it good? Oh, girl. Babe, I think you missed a I spot. I told you not to here. get a dab, here. not white. Right. Right there. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and and baby. Number six. Scene. Woo. And cut. Their five kids, nicknamed Sun Tard, Princess Tard, Baby Tard, Rock Tard, and Bro Tard, have grown up on YouTube. Eight-year-old Emmy says she's never known life without cameras rolling. First day of second grade, young lady. Today, they're celebrating Emmy's eighth birthday. Happy birthday to Emmy! And Shay Carl has the camera ready to vlog. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Julie's been waiting in the box. Right, 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 right. She keeps the ring. Happy birthday. So, what do you guys think about being on on YouTube every single day? What's that like? I don't really know what. <laughs> I don't really know what answer. I'm speechless when people ask that question. I don't know why. Do you ever think, gosh, enough of this camera already. Get the camera out of my face. No, unless it's like every freaking second of my life. <laughs> Is it though? Not really. I don't want to feel like I forced them into this like stardom and they're like, wait a minute, dad. Like, but you know, we kind of have, I guess, in a sense. But listen, mm -hmm. if you're if your dad is a, is a farmer, you got to get up at 6 a.m. and milk the cows, all right? If you're my kid, you got to be cute on camera. Do you ever have personal conversations, like, with just the two of you, and you say, will there be a negative impact? We've had that conversation a lot, and we it's just try to... It's a daily conversation. It is a daily conversation. Aww. And we really want it to be a positive thing for our kids. You see it in, me, in Hollywood all the time, kids that are child stars, and they grow up to be a mess. And I just really want to try to not have that happen to our, our kids. That's why, even with all that fame and countless clicks, the butlers say they have no Hollywood aspirations. It's part of the reason you're not so into wanting to be on TV is because on YouTube, you are in total control. Oh yeah, we say what kind of content we make because we want to represent ourselves for who we are. And that's what the appeal of this is, is that this is the real reality TV. This is yeah. really our life. For Nightline, I'm Abby Boudreaux in Los Angeles.